What is up, guys? It is your boy Neglectful House Cat here. I changed my name, and I want to get into uh, a very serious topic. And if you don't know, I live in Southern U.S., and there's a lot of stuff you gotta defend against here in the Southern United States. I mean, it gets bad, especially when you go to Florida and Mississippi. I mean. And watch out for that. So today, guys, I'm going to be telling you how to survive against the almighty inbreds. They will tear you apart. So let's get into this. Let's get into the inbreds' key features. Inbreds can always fly. Like, 90% of the time, they can fly wherever they want. I mean, that's how they leave their cave. They live in, like, hives with all their freaking cousins and brothers and sisters and uncle, uncle daddies, uncle grandpas, all that. They can also see you in the dark, so basically running away in the dark doesn't stop anything because they can fly after you and they can see in the dark. They always have at least 16 kids. They may also be their cousins. So, I mean, they also have probably had those kids with their mother, father, if they're a girl, or their uncle, or something like that. So they're all, they're all inter intertwined like that. Um, they rarely live past 38, because inbred can, or inbreeding can do that to you pretty easily, you know. Because, you know, fucking your cousin isn't the best course of action on having kids. Because they're probably going to be genetically fucked up. And it just gets worse and worse as more as they keep doing it. Now, let's get into your key defenses. The things you can do to defend yourself against the inbred race. Say big words is the number one step. Inbreds don't know much. Um, the biggest word they know in their vocabulary will probably be a five character word. The biggest word they know is probably Budweiser. Uh, just because it's an inbred's favorite drink, you know. Shine lights at them. And as I said earlier, inbreds have night vision. I mean, it's like freaking black and white. So if you shine a light in their face, it's kind of like God's mercy finally reaching them and just putting them out of their fucking misery because you know they're inbreds it's gonna hurt their eyesight pretty bad play anything but toby keith you can play uh the top 20 hits today she you can play little wayne young thug uh you can even play the jackass theme song and they're gonna run away because toby keith is their lord and savior Throw books at them. You see, they're afraid of anything knowledge-wise. So when you're sitting there chunking books at them suckers, they're not chasing you like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Because they talk like that because they're inbreds. You throw books at them. If, hopefully one of the books will open up and hit them. And they'll see the words on the page. And they hate learning anything but NASCAR, beer, and inbreeding. They hate that. They hate anything but that. I mean, if it's a book on inbreed, you might not survive. They're probably going to just keep running, because they already know that, like a freaking, the back of their hand. Um, another thing you can do, show them anything that isn't NASCAR, like any TV show. You can show them a cooking channel. They don't understand that. It hurts their head too much. You just, just anything really intelligent makes them run away. Uh, you want to run in a zigzag pattern too. It's hard for them to follow with their slow minds. And they also waddle because inbreeding kind of fucked up their legs. It's just nature's fucking way of saying that don't do that. Don't fuck your cousin anymore. Just don't. But they're gonna, you know they're going to keep doing it. Another key thing. The key locations where you will find an inbred is... The trailer park, probably. You'll find them in a trailer park. You'll find them in caves. You'll find them at your local, like, fishing hole. They like that, because they'll just run over and pick that junk out of the water. Eat that sucker, and boom! Food. 
that's all it takes for them, man. They're so fast on their feet. But they can only run in a straight line. So what I'm saying is, watch out for them inbreds. They will kill you. Watch out for Mississippi now. They're kind of prevalent in there. That's like their little, like, rendezvous. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you like it. I hope you like this little skit thing. Um, if you guys want me to do more of this, like, and just like this video, and show me some support for it, because I think it's pretty funny. And I just want to say anything, I want to say this before the mat, before the, um, before we end this. Uh, this is completely satire. I'm not talking about anybody in general. It's just for fun. Um, people can hate because I think they think their videos are exclusively about them. But, this isn't about anybody in general. It's just for fun. But yeah, guys, Neglectful House Cat out, and like and subscribe.